Welcome back to another Delivered Reviewed, and this week another dished, uh, I think they're virtual brand actually saying that, although I didn't say that last week, um, Wingology, so apparently the science of wings. So, as I say, this week we are reviewing the next as a virtual brand um, or pop-up brand or franchise uh, from the Dished group, uh, which is Wingology. So obviously, as the thumbnail shows, the science of wings, which obviously is a bit of a hook uh, tagline. And the emphasis, obviously, with this place is wings. But I thought, at the same time, let's just try a chicken burger. And fries, obviously standard fries. I didn't try the halloumi because they looked almost identical to um, Eureka, which I think, obviously, they probably would be using the same. The fries, I thought, mm, maybe that's kind of the same thing. However, as you can see, the fries weren't particularly um, covered in any seasoning. They were supposed to be paprika, um, kind of coated fries, which I, I couldn't really see any of it. And even the kind of presentation of this virtual brand um, versus Eureka is totally different. There is no Wingology logo on any of the packaging, which I don't really understand why they're all under the same group. Obviously, there's a few others that I can try as well to see if they're any different, but the fries were kind of just standard fries. They were similar to Eureka, but just not with any real... Um, seasoning on them. I had the uh, buffalo sauce with it just for a little bit of heat uh, this week. However, the main attraction, let's say, is the Nashville wings and this being the sriracha or honey sriracha um, with cheese burger. Now it's got kind of like a slaw on the bottom, which it, it didn't actually say, but it's Thai inspiration sweet uh, with some spice finished with sriracha mayo. It's pretty spicy to be fair. Um, Obviously, the sriracha mayo is, is adding to it, but the kind of Thai flavouring, mm, kind of, I'm not sure they kind of put much of that onto the uh, coating. It was kind of like a thin breaded, it was, it was just a, a chicken fillet. I guess you could say probably not made in-house from what it what it seemed like. I could be wrong, um, but it didn't seem like. It seemed like kind of a, um, let's just say a branded chicken fillet that you can get from, from supermarkets. Um, could be wrong, hopefully I'm wrong, but... Um, it was just kind of very flat, not not really substantial. I mean, KFC's fillets or Popeye's fillets, completely different, absolutely completely different. So I think these aren't made in house, but the brioche bun was really nice and the, the slaw um, added a nice kind of crunch to it. So it was quite a nice burger. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't knock it, but it, it was just kind of a standard burger. However, onto the Nashville hot wings, as they, as they were, and obviously Nashville kind of being a paprika, quite a hot uh, marinade, fiery kind of um, marinade to them. But the wings were almost like a KFC hot wing. They've got quite a lot of um, very, very crunchy sort of uh, coating to them, so like a batter. Not so much a breadcrumb, but a, a, a definite batter. I mean, they weren't far off what the picture showed, so I, I can't really knock the advertiser versus reality. <clears throat> They were, they were pretty good on that part, same on the burger, to a degree. Obviously, the fillet, as I say, wasn't anywhere near the picture, um, but the actual burger overall was nice. Problem with these wings are, is they, I think, from what somebody said ages and ages ago, is that they're, they're freezed, or they've been frozen for too long, um, or maybe too deep frozen, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly, but frozen too long, I think it was. And you'll see in a second, one of the uh, wings, unfortunately, uh, was involved in an accident and uh, broke one of its bones, unfortunately, which wasn't very good. But the actual coating was really nice, very hot, as I say. Um, not greasy or anything like that, not a lot of sauce, as you probably saw in the box as it was, it was open. The presentation was reasonable, um, but very, very, like, I, I can't emphasise it enough, very, very crunchy. Um, almost too much kind of coating, overtaking, a bit like KFC's, there you see. The unfortunate accident that happened maybe while he was in the gym, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, broken bone and didn't end up going to the hospital. So, is what it is. If they're going to use let's say cheaper chicken wings i guess that's going to be the reality but they weren't particularly big wings but they weren't you know tiny skinny little wings so 
they were pretty nice. I think overall as a meal, it's very close to you Greek, but obviously with the difference of being, um, you know, the emphasis of wings, I probably should have had a couple of different lots of wings, which I might in a few weeks maybe go back and, and have a couple of different wings and tenders they do. But the prices were good. The food was quite nice and the coating and the flavouring was pretty good. But as you'll see, obviously in a second, the ratings, burger 8.25, 8.5 for the wings and 6.5 for the fries. So they were just kind of standard. Appreciate all the subscriptions. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And we're on to the next one next week.